Will the new Astro C40 tournament ready uh, controller software work now on the Mac? There's a new update. So let's find out in today's video. What is going on you wonderful people? My name is Brandon. Welcome back to Creighton TV. So in today's quick short video, we're going to find out if the new Astro C40 tournament ready software is ready for the Mac and will it work? So that's what we're going to check out today. Get over here and get to this video. I don't want to take up too much of you guys' time. So if you like this type of video, you want to know more about the Astro C40 tournament ready controller and what it can do, I'll leave a card link up here so you can check out my past videos. Now let's get over here to the software and see if the new software is ready and it works on the Mac. Go into your Astro C40 software. Going into your Astro C40 uh, software is right there. Controller I can show you right now what version I am on. If you haven't seen the last video that I did put up of me showing you how to downgrade back, well, now there's a new update out. So remember before we was on version 1.1.102. Now it's version 1.1. 0.103 so a lot of meaning numbers but that's hopefully this new one that works on mac so we can update to the thing and then stay tuned for the next upcoming video that shows you how to replace your modules especially if you buy um another pack a set of modules and you know stay tuned for that next video so if you see me wearing this outfit just know i shot two videos in one day but that video will be coming out after this video so let's get into the software so you go to your software I turn my auto update off the software right there. It says check for updates as it's checking right now. And it says right now, uh, version 1.1.103 software update. So that's the new one. So we're going to try to update right now. See how that works on Mac. If it works, I'll tell you, let you know if it's good to go. If not, you don't even have to worry about it. Just stay where you at. And I'll just keep trying with it until uh, software gets with this and it connects the controller. So let's find out, see what happens, see if they fixed it and fixed the little bug that they had where they wouldn't connect to uh, on the Mac. This update might be out for PCs too. So check your PC software. I don't own a PC to tell you, but check it. If it's that software update and this one's work and allows you to connect your controller, update. So let's find out right now. We're gonna hit update. Going through the little installer. Okay, let it configure. And, and well, bam, perfect. So now let's find out. It's all updated. You guys see, see it says software up to date. And now let's get the little thing and plug in the controller. So I'm gonna test this and I'm gonna test the adapter, the wireless adapter, see if they both work. First off, let's test the controller. And if the controller connects, then we'll test the adapter. So here it is, and we'll plug it in right now. Okay, I got it all plugged up. So you guys can see, I'm about to plug it into the controller. Now, let's see, three, two, one. Will it connect to the controller on Mac? Yes, it does. So it's okay to say, say safe to say that the new version for the Astro C40 terminal ready uh, software update is um, working on Mac. Now you can connect your controller back. So you see it popped up everything else. So that's good to know that that new software works. So go ahead and update your system already to version 1.1.103. It does work. Now let's try to see if we can get a controller update. So see that it's up to date. Now let's see about the controller. It says up to date, but okay. So the controller is up to date. So you don't have to worry about the controller. So you should be on your controller. You should be on version 0.78.0. That's the version you want. And the software update should be on version 0.1.1.103. So that's the software version. You should be on these two and they're both say up to date. Now let's check out everything. You know, you guys already seen my profile and everything, how I have it set up, my sticks, which will be how you, change, how you change one of your module sticks, especially if you got a problem like, or if your stick stops running, or if you're playing game, you can't move and it starts to get stuck. I'm gonna show you how to fix that with new modules in the upcoming video. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, you know, the software is good to go. Good to update. Yes, okay, good. So they fixed the problem, which is good to know. So now, yeah, so you safe to say you can't update. If you don't want to update, you can still stay on your old, old software. Check out the old video, how I did it. But now let's check one last thing. 
So, you know, you see my controller is all synced, so it's okay to unplug. Now, let's try the adapter. See if the adapter needs an update. The adapter might be fine too. And oh, the way you update your adapter is, once you plug it in, take your controller. Uh, you don't have to do nothing, just leave it on wired. Wired mode, you don't have to push it to Wi-Fi or nothing, just leave it on wire. It should pop up like mine, and it will tell you, check for a firmware update. It might be up to date too. So only when you only have to update the uh, the adapter is only when you have to update the controller. But right now, this is trying to check. I'm checking and it's not letting me click on it or nothing. So guess the adapter is still good for this version software, so you don't have to update your adapter. So everything should be working fine and solid, which is good. So I'm happy for that. The new version did fix whatever was going on. So if you're running on PC, try to plug yours in and update the software. And that should be able to fix your controller. If not, I don't know. I don't own a PC, so I can't be able to give you like the ins and outs of how to really set it up on the PC. But uh, if you own a PC and you got yours to work, leave a comment down below. You know, I will try to uh, reach forward that video, forward your instructions to other people. But checking for the firmware update on the adapter. The adapter seems fine. It seems like it's working well. So the Astro C40 uh, Sony Rider controller is safe to say. The software does work on the Mac and is good to go for an update. So update to version 1.1.103. It's already good to go. So you should be on that new firmware version. But if you want to, like me, you can turn off auto update so make sure you turn off auto update because you don't want it to update and you get back to that same problem where you get and you got to downgrade back so safe to say version 1.1.03 is good to go update if you like to already so you see now i'm on a new version controller connects i'll show you one more time so the adapter is all good to go so you don't have to update up, update the adapter show you one more time i'll plug in the controller and i'm gonna connect Bam, my controller already connects and lets me know I'm already good to go. So there's no update right now for the controller. So controller's up to date. We're all good to go on that. Turn off auto update on controller if you need to, just to be just to be safe. But other than that, I hope you did enjoy this video. Astro C40 turning ready uh, software is good to go on the Mac. Might be good to go on the PC. So try to update your software on PC also as well. But other than that, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you like this video, subscribe if you're new. More Astro C40 tournament ready content is coming on the way. And I got some more tutorials on the way with Streamlabs and other stuff coming up. So like this video, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.